Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Jams, does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Jams, for you guys in the view of us, I've got some No Man's Sky speculation around the snowflake. Emoji, yet again, yes, three in a row, people. Yeah, I've got myself a cup of tea. It's not in my merch mug today, though. No, it's in this beaded little number. It's quite nice. It came from a charity shop. Very nice. Got a whole set of those. Anyway, people, enough about the freaking teacup. <laughs> Let's jump on in over into what I've got for you inside of way of speculation, people in the viewerverse. Kaboom! I'm now over on the Twitterverse, and I put out this Twitter tweet that I tweeted it out today. Yes, here we go. The snowflake emoji, if it is a fractal, I put a double is. What the fudge am I on? If it is a fractal, then I'm not so sure. It's for the world of glass, as perhaps these emojis would be better. And I've got like a glass of milk, or I've got like a window, or I've got cocktail glass, wine glass, or a tumbler glass. Any of those, they're all glasses. They're all a form of glass. So that maybe would be better for a world of glass. However, if it is for Fractal, if they're going to name the actual update Fractal and bring in the Realm of Glass, it's still possible, still possible, and maybe they might use Fractal math on those planets inside of the Realm of Glass. It's still feasible, possible, I'm not ruling it out, but they might be better emojis, which has been pointed out to me in my comments and my live chats and all sorts of other places, and people are saying, I don't think it's the Realm of Glass because these make more sense, and I think they're kind of right. So perhaps, perhaps the Fractal is maths for terrain of current planets to give results like this. What do you think? Now this actual screenshot comes from the Hello Games' actual press pack over on their actual freaking website, mate. So let, like this video here. Let me just uh, make this full screen. Let me just hit play on here. So in a second, you should see it. You should see that exact scene. There you go. There it is. There's the planet. There's all the sort of gnarly terrain. It's very quick. Blink and you freaking miss it, people in the view of should really do. But not only that, if you scroll on down a little bit further, there is even more crazy terrain inside of their actual press pack that's still on their actual website. So here you go, look at this planet. Now we used to get these sorts of planets in the old vanilla days, with all this wavy, davy, liney type, wormy type stuff going on with the terrain. Pretty darn freaking epic. And now we can fly our, fly our ships this low, we can do exactly what they're doing in this trailer and do exactly that and fly through it and make the planet more fun. Imagine that racing your mates across this planet they need to have flight initiators for races and they need to work on their freaking race initiators anyway because at the moment they're a little bit freaking broken but yeah there's a lot of variety even inside of these videos that hopefully they could bring into the actual verse i love that instant translocation it's almost like it teleported them to a neighboring planet or something i mean that could be a decent way to enter into the realm of glass even you know just put down random things on planets didn't think of that just did now heck yeah Anyways, coming back off of there, scrolling down a little bit further, they've got a load of still images. And inside of these still images, there's one that it has all that gnarly terrain. I mean, look at that. Look at that for terrain formations. That's pretty darn freaking gnarly as well, these sharded spikes. Look at this stampede in stegosaurs. I've never seen stampede and migrating stegosaurs in all of my life inside of No Man's Sky or anything quite like that. Even this terrain looks quite nice, doesn't it? The way it's all janky and that. It's quite smooth now in current iteration. But anyway, let's scroll on down a little bit. I love the idea of having patrolling sentinels at down sort of derelict freighters or crashed freighters. As I should say. But there we go, there's the screenshot in all of its glory. There it is, nice and big. And as you can see, all of these things that are sticking out the ground, they're not placed assets because look at the tips of them, they're all different. This one's got vegetation on the freaking top of it, mate. And when you scroll over this way, this one's got a blinking hole in it. So they're all bloody different. So these are actual terrain, they're not actual placed assets. And I think if they added fractal math in, I mean, fractal math gives you repeating sorts of objects. But um, yeah, it could could apply to this sort of rock formation. So a lot of people are saying, well, it would only affect trees. But no, this gives a quite a good example of how it could affect the actual terrain and give us some awesome type terrain sort of stuff to go on. I would also love to come across a planet where there's a load of sentinel walkers just out on a little jolly. I mean, look at these. There's, there's what, one, two, three. There's four there that I can blink and see. Is there any other hidden ones? Probably. 
Yeah, but there's four in this one shot. You know, that's a brown trouser moment on such a beautiful planet, isn't it? But yeah, it'd be nice if we had some of that that sort of awesome terrain. It'd be nice to see more sorts of sentinelization going on on some planets for some reason. I mean, look, there's two sentinel walkers just in that shot as well. So yeah, there's... <sighs> I don't know, people. Hopefully, hopefully the fractal... If I'm right, a snowflake is flat, fractally generated. And it, it, if I put a snowflake emoji out, I'm either going to be doing one of two things, I think, if I was Shaun of the Murrays or Hello Games or whatever. So anyway, so there was, I would say it was an overhaul for frost and snow biomes or they're doing something where it comes with the fractal math because their game is based on math. I'm looking at the math and that's why I'm going down the fractal route, people, in the viewer verse. No other real reason. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much all I've got for you today. It's just a very quick episode to say I'm walking back a bit on some of my speculation. It might not be the Realm of Glass. What I'm trying to say is don't get too overhyped for the Realm of Glass thing. I mean, I like to speculate on stuff that I would love to see come into the game when the emoji drops. Don't set it at expectation. I'm hoping that, you know, if enough people sort of like and comment on it and it, it gets some traction, if it's not coming in this update, Hello Games might see that speculation and say, you know what, that's not a bad idea. And then it might come in future, you know, and that's happened a few times now. So, uh, yeah, it, it can be a little bit frustrating if you don't get what you feel that might be coming off the back of speculation. But what I would say is just don't set speculation as expectation and you can't go too far wrong there, people in the viewer verse. Heck no. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've got for... Oh, I've, I've got a few other bits, actually. Let me just jump back over into that uh, reactions area. So we go boom. So over on the actual images, when you click this image and you make it nice and large, there's these little ships here. You see that little ship there? Uh, I can't really zoom in much further than that. But it's a really strange ship. It's not a current fighter or anything like that. I did see Elite Gamers do a video where he's actually brought this ship into iteration and he was wondering where it came from. I can see it in these early fo these early photos, Mr. Elite Gamers. Yes, it it was a thing, and for whatever reason now, I don't think it's a thing again. So, <laughs> yeah, what, you've done a deep dive, a freaking deep dive into the game files, and I, I can see those two ships there. I think they're some sort of attack ships. Maybe they're like drone ships that fly out of our freighters. You know when you've got a frigate fleet, and they send out some of the attack sort of fighters? Maybe it might be taking a better, closer look at those to see if they match these ones. Maybe they, they still are game i don't know i haven't done too much more research i just spotted them there and thought i'd give you the heads up this planet over here i've got my i've got my head on it at the moment but look at this building in the background here that's not a current colossal archive that we have got inside of game so maybe there's other sorts of building structures hidden inside of the game files i have seen mods on the nexus mods area that bring buildings into iteration that look similar to this so perhaps they're still tucked away inside the game files not that i'm saying that it's going to come in the updates or anything like that it's just that sometimes looking at some of these older screenshots might give you an idea of what they might be toying with to bring inside of the verse i can only but hope that they're going to resurrect the freaking awesome daplicus or whatever it is yes from the free sort of demos i still want to see that meandering on planets but it's like this planet here again it's got all these sort of weird terrain deformations that we just don't get currently so i, I am hoping that we see at least some sort of new terrain generation to make the planets look almost as organic and as alive as each of these. I mean, when you see any planetary photos in each of these press packy type photos, you're like, I still haven't landed, I still haven't landed on a planet that looked that majestic. Even that snowscape looks quite cool there, doesn't it? But that one's awesome with the stegosaurs. Even the terrain in the background of this one looks quite cool. You know, it goes from a nice sort of plateau to a sort of sun-dried mountain range there. Pretty darn sweet. But yeah, a lot of these have just got a lot more intrigue than some of the planets that I, I see in current day and current iteration. So it's just food for thought, people. It's just food for thought. I'm just taking a little backwards look, a backwards glance at the old trailers, looking at old visual styles and visual cues, because 
some of that is making its way back into game. It's like we've, we've now got the sandworms added in or whatever, the, the giant worms. I mean, they were in the release trailers, but never in release game. And, you know, five years later, we got them. So, you know, five years later, maybe we might get some of these more wavy davy kite like creatures that they show inside of the videos. You know, I mean, we were just getting to that, you know, in that trailer with all the wavy davy sort of terrain mass, there is a bit where they land there and you, you see a lot more of those sort of kite-like creatures flying through the sky and that when they go through the portal you probably saw it in that video that i put up earlier but yeah there's some fauna types in there that we just don't got yet so hopefully we might get even more of that but maybe i'm reading into it too much people maybe i'm over dancing even this speculation that maybe they might do a terrain overhaul which it may they may do it and it may only affect the planets that are not discovered as yet so every new planet that we now discover might have more terrain frequency is where i'm going with this people in the view of us but we will see i don't think we've got long to wait now to be honest i feel any time now something might happen i'm just going to go check the steam databases and see if anything's changed over there see if there's anything nope it was just three yeah three and two months so there's nothing over there i'll just show you what i'm seeing on screen just so you can see what i'm seeing yeah boom there we go just over here no, they haven't updated there they are but what has changed now is on steam no man's sky is now f up for sale so yeah it's now on a sale over on steam i've been hit on up on the twitter verse about that this morning people in the view of us i guess i have um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I've got for you. So the sale is now extended over to Steam. So it's already on Switch. It's already on Steam. I don't know about it on Xbox, but it is on PlayStation. I mean, I could go check Xbox, but you know what? You could do that if you really want to. But what I'm saying is the this, this sales are slowly sort of getting through all the different platforms. So I think any time now, I, I mean, VR 2 update drops tomorrow now if people have managed to get their hands on vr units which we've seen people unboxing them i'm i'd imagine we're going to be seeing people actually play in no man's sky in vr as of tomorrow very excited to see that happening really want to see their take on how good it feels to play no man's sky in vr is the haptic feedback good um what it looks like is it sharp is there any bugs I can't wait to see that footage hitting the actual um, Tinter webs tomorrow. So I'm very excited for tomorrow, people in the view of us. So yeah, that's everything I've got for you. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye again.